Okay, so what are we going to make? So we're going to make a name tag, a solid square, and then we're going to put our hole in it and some text on it. Okay, cool. Show us how you do it. So first we need to get a box. We can put it over here. And then that's too um, big for a name tag. So you need to try and widen it out at where you want. So say if you want it like this. And how big is that? That's 27 millimetres. Okay, very good. And then you can make it small. And then you can change the Z axis. <laughs> nice. And we can go back if you make a mistake. Because you sort of had it like floating up in space for a moment, didn't you? We'd like, we don't want it floating in space. You want it no. to sit on the bottom. All right, nice, nice, nice. And then if you want to make a hole, you just press the cylinder. You put it here, but that's too big of a hole. And you need to take it down. So then we can make the hole. We can make the hole like this. And then we can move it up and down. So you're, yeah, so you, you keep, what's the arrow you keep pressing up there? What does that do? So that changes the axis. Oh, so the, that one is moving it up and down in space, so it's your z-axis, but you keep hitting yeah. that little arrow that points to the left, up in the top left of the screen. Is that when you make a mistake? Yeah, so if you make a mistake, you can press that, um, and then it will just redo what you've done. Okay. So okay. I can do that, and then it's like this again. And then you can see that's a bit too big for it, so then we can make it smaller. But it's kind of like the top bit of that is like a hole in space, isn't it? Yeah. So that would probably still be okay. We can move it over. Is you moving the? So we here? can move it over here. We can move it like this. And we, I mean, we can play around with it a bit more later on. But can you show us, like, how do you how do you rotate the whole canvas and zoom in as well? So you can rotate like this. And then you can have it however you want. Okay, that's, so that's actually rotating a hole. So when you rotate a hole, it's still kind of the same anyway, because it's, it's round, <laughs> isn't it? So it's yeah. not really going anywhere. But can you show me, how do we zoom in and look at everything a little bit closer so now? So you can zoom in like this, and then you can see it a bit closer now. Yeah. And then you can see that that's a bit too much on the side, so then it won't print properly. So then we need to move it back. Okay. So yeah, if you make a mistake, you can just press back and then it'll redo your shape. So how about I, how about I stop filming this and then you, you go away and then you can do the rest of your name tag and then we can print it out and we can turn it into something yeah. real. Awesome. Cool. Thanks, Al. So you've finished your design. Looks awesome. Awesome name. <laughs> okay, so what are you going to do next, Hedy? So now we need to export and then we go to STL. So you, we're, we're taking it out of Tinkercad. We're making mm. an STL, okay, and it's appeared down there. So then you press on this, and oh. then you can see your design in this type of mode. So what program are we in now, remember? So we're in Prusa Slicer. Cool, and what's Prusa Slicer going to do? So it's going to send all the information to the printer, so that it knows what to print and all the styles. Awesome, okay, so what do we do next? So then you press Slice. So we're just going to use all the defaults, the default print settings, filaments. Okay, now you've sliced it. And now you can change the colour halfway through. So I can go down. I can go down like this and then see how it's printed. So if I do that, then when it says Troy, it will go in a different colour. So say if I have the background white and then in Troy it says in black, I just press the plus. Okay. And then it shows me what it will look like in the two different colors. So this is going to this is going to be an instruction in the file that we're going to export, which tells the printer to stop because we want to change the color to put another filament so that Troy looks different to the back of the name tag. Exactly. Okay, cool. What do we do now? So we press slice now. So then that will send it um, to the printer and then export G code. Yep, and now we save the G code. Uh, and now we're going to go and get the printer ready. We're going to put some filament in, and then we're going to go into OctoPrint, and we're going to send it to OctoPrint from your laptop. Cool. Let's do that. 
Okay, so what do we do now? So now we need to clean the bed. If we don't clean it, then um, the print will be cancelled. Then you have to try and clean it and do it again. So maybe like it won't stick or yeah. we'll muck it up some other way. Okay, cool. How to clean? So you use it with this. It's called isopropyl alcohol. Okay, cool. Um, and then you just spray a bit on here. And then you need to wipe it down. So then you need to try and get it all around so that all of the um, from the other pins they could be they could still be seen. Yeah, any like residue or anything? Yep, you put it into place. Now we also started unloading the filament. So do you want to? We'll make sure that we put that bed. Just put it, line it all the way up because I think it's just a little bit off, isn't it? You get that? Mm -hmm. It's it's magnetic, so it kind of sticks into place. Yep, cool. Uh, now you decided that you wanted the base of your print to be black, but we've got the white filament in. So what are you gonna do now? So first, um, we have to press the knob. So it says press the knob to unload filament. Yeah. And pull the old one out. And we need a. Did it, did it come out all the way? All right, let's try it again. Should we go down to unload filament? Oops, that was a little bit stuck, but that's okay. I got it. So yeah. we'll, we'll just. So you need to make sure mm -hmm. that the um the the print is fully clean. Okay. That the bed. Yep, bed's clean. Um, no. Do you want to preheat it as well? Yeah, so you so, need to preheat it so that um, the filament actually goes soft so that it can make the print. Okay, what are, so we're going to use PLA. So what do the numbers mean when you look at PLA? So, um, with different filaments, so um, like a different t type of textures. So with our one, um, it only needs to heat up to 215 because it's a bit softer than the PEG and ASA. So with these other ones, um, it's a bit more thicker, so it needs to be heated a bit more. Okay, and so, 215, and can you remember what's, there's another number there, 60, what's 60? Um, that's um, the, how hot the bed is. All right, cool. All right, so should we go to preheat because we, we didn't quite click it and disappeared, so we can go down there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and then preheat. PLA. Yep. And should we load the new filament that you want? Yeah, so you can choose any, any filament you want. And then you have to make sure that you cut this so that it can easily go in. I think we did that last time. We left it in a good, good condition. So then it pulls in the filament and tries and extrudes the um, filament that you used last time. Okay, so right now it's extruding. Yeah, so it would, it's fine if it um, is the other colour. So it's so, come out a little bit white, which was the old filament. And, and now it's a getting color. black. So it would be a bit so hot. So show us what's on there. So, so you, that's like 215 degrees, but you just touched it. Yeah, um, so <laughs> it cools down really fast. Okay. And then it feels more, um, like look how much thinner this is from this. Yeah, it comes out like a little thread. Okay, yeah. so, so can that's we see... why you need to heat it. Okay, that, yes. So if it doesn't come out, you should press no, so then it pushes more out. Okay, so I think that's all good. Let's stop here and now we'll go to OctoPrint and we'll print our design. Yep. Okay, so where are we now? So we're in OctoPrint and it controls the management. And then down here you can see the temperature, so it's currently 175, so it's cooling down. Yeah, because it's, it's not actually doing anything. So we can see, particularly the hot end, which is the bit the filament comes out of, is cooling down. Okay, so we've got a we we exported our design. Should we go and upload it into OctoPrint? Yeah, and you can also see this. So you can see what it's doing because we've got a camera. So you can see all of its movements, and you can also see like how far it's um gone and how much it's got left. Cool, so let's go and So you go down, down here. Because we haven't printed this before, we go to upload. 
Mm. Uh, now, if you go to your downloads folder on the left, see over there, up a bit, up a bit. Yeah, so it's up here. You press on it. Is it there? No. It's oh, no, you know, we put, it, we put it in the temp directory. So click on, let's go to down the bottom left, we can see our C drive in Windows. And then we go into the temp folder. Double click mm -hmm. that. And then it's the top one because Tinkercad gives a really weird name. So this is amazing. Mm -hmm. Bruticious? Bruticus? Amazing Bruticus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now let's click on it because we can see it's been uploaded onto the file system here. So we click on it and then it sends um, that exact print to the printer. Well, let's scroll up a little bit. Yep, so now we see it's sitting there and we can also see how long it's going to print. How long will it take to print? So, I think it's down here. It's just up here. Um, it will take one hour and um, 97 minutes. No, that's how much filament it's going to use. It's going to use 1.97 meters of filament. The approximate print time is just under it. So how long does it say under it? Um, 25 minutes. All right, cool. Do you want to press the print button? Yep. So now let's scroll up to the top and we can see the printer heating up. So let's click on temperature. Okay. And then you can see the heat is rising up. We can actually see that number going up. So we can see it going 144, 146, 148. It's going to heat up really quickly. And then it's going to do a calibration and then it's going to start printing. But that's going yeah. to take a little bit. So why don't we wait and then we'll, we'll come back when it's a bit further through. Yeah. Okay, just finished. Do you want to show us what we've made? So this is what we've made. So this is what um, we've made from Tinkercad by scratch. And then you need to try and take it off. And then you can put like a um, key thing in here. It does have the hole, so the hole yeah. came out just perfect. Nice. So I can like put that on my school bag now. Mm. <laughs> Be awesome. <laughs> right, well done. So you've made that from scratch. You designed everything. Yeah. You exported it, you took in the presser slicer, you set the colour change point, you handled the 200 plus degree 3D printer without getting burned. And that's awesome. Well done. I'm very, very impressed. Nice one, huh?